Hey, this is Ryan from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today I'm going to show you how to tie up a wiggle tail stinger rig for a pike tube fly. We've been fishing a lot of these tube flies this year with the wiggle tails behind them, and the pike really seem to like them, so it's worth worth tying a few up. We're using a one knot Arex trailer hook for our back hook, and I'm using some gel spun ultra thread. Start your thread at the front of the hook. And bring her all the way back after you trim your excess off. Right, so bring your thread all the way to the back and it's pretty important to use gel spun for all of this too because the, the pike's teeth are so sharp and <clears throat> even if you tie it with gel spun it's just going to wear out after so many fish but this makes the, the whole rig last longer. So with these wiggle tails like in my other video there's a snap for the tail and then this one is a snap for the hook it's a little longer and has a little longer tie in point so you want to have it so it's just off the back of the hook like this and then start tying it in trying to keep it pretty pretty upright on top of the hook and then go all the way up under here I go back and forth a couple times just so there's a little more thread on it just to make sure it's tied down well because their their teeth are sharp and you can they're gonna tear up about anything but this will last a little longer this way alright so you can bring your thread up to the front and then whip finish okay and then we'll take some thin UV resin we're using solar res here but whatever you like will work kind of spread that just to cover the thread up a little bit just one more kind of line of protection <laughs> alright like that use your UV light cure it alright so now We'll take, and I've already bent this piece of wire, we're using 55 pound Scientific Anglers titanium wire. And because it's so heavy, it's kind of hard to work with. So I've already taken a pair of pliers and kind of pre-crimped the end of this. And I've also bent the other end where this is going to go through the, the hook eye just to make it easier when I go to tie it down on the front hook. So, and I like to rig these <clears throat> so the back hook is up and the... Uh, front hook is down so because of that I have to run the wire through here the opposite direction I'll take this out of the vise just double it over like that and this stuff is pretty hard to work with so if you gotta hook it on your vise or something to get it seated there we go like that so now this back hook will ride hook up with the bend going down so the front hook will be down. You can rig them however you want but that's how I found the found that I can hook a few more fish. So we're using a 4 aught A-Rex Predator hook for our front hook. So you'll take and just start your thread on this just right behind the eye. Oops, tighten that up a little bit. And what I find to be most important is just make sure the whole hook is pretty covered in thread. It gives the the wire a little, bit, little better place to to sit on, and it's important to bring it through the eye too because you have a lot less a lot less of a chance for a fish to pull it pull that if they're hooked on the back hook to pull it off of the front hook that way. So I like to go back and forward all the way one time. And pliers are helpful in this too because that wire is so thick and hard to work with that you can. So you'll just run it through the eye down to where I've already kind of pre pre bent it. Alright. So I'll take 
I'll bend this a little more just so I have a little the more you get done before you put it through the eye the easier it is to do it right once it's in there but be careful not to bend it too much because you can you can break it put this through there and tie down the the piece that's going back to the trailer hook making sure that it's upright like this I like to go back a ways about a third of the way probably and then go forward back to where you tied that in and there's a couple ways you can do this but you have to make sure to get this bent back enough that you can get your your heavy line through the eye so what I do a lot of the times I'll take a pair of pliers clamp it to it and pull back Oops as I tie it down. It's the easiest I think. You can do it with your hands too if you can get it to bend back enough. What you can also do is take and do two or three or four turns of thread and just look at it. And just make sure I use 80 pound fluoro a lot so I just a lot of times I'll have a spare piece of it sitting on the desk just to make sure you can get that through there. But now just, and don't be afraid to put some thread tension on this. Just, just cover all of this in thread. And when you go over the, the edges of this right here where it's tied down, kind of use a lighter thread tension because those are really sharp ends. So if you just go over them a few times lightly, and then you can put the tension to it. Otherwise it'll cut your thread even if you're using gel spun. And you can vary the length of this wire too, depending how long your <clears throat> how long your fly is too. I like it. I mean, the this hook will be in the back of my tube, and I want my materials to end kind of right where the wiggle tail starts, just so the wiggle tail doesn't foul up on anything else. And then go all the way back to the front once. And just take your time on this, because I mean, this thread is. If you have a big fish hooked on the back hook, the thread's all that's holding it on there. Alright, something like that should be good. And you can take and whip finish. Like that. Make sure that's tied down well. So then take your UV resin again. And go through and just kind of make sure everything's covered. Make sure, make sure rig lasts a lot longer. If you just do it with the thread, I mean, one fish can tear it up to the point where it's not really safe to use it anymore. In case you hook a big fish, it seems to be pretty well covered there. All right, like that, and it'll sag a little bit now, probably. I just like to just kind of spin it and work with it until you like how it looks, and it seems to be pretty even. And Hit the whole thing. So, but the the stinger hook seems to be important. There's a lot of other ways you can rig them too, where you just have the snap or another way to affix the the wiggle tail to it. But a lot of the bigger fish I've caught this year have been on this back hook, and they haven't had this front hook even close to their mouth. So. Definitely tie a few up and try some wiggle tails if you're out chasing pike. Thanks.